Residential areas beyond here. Gosh, he's not a quiet fella, is he? Must be rather large as well. You're not planning on having all three of us go in there, are you? You want to fight them all by yourself? No, not at all. That's crazy, totally reckless. You know, Mr. Claw, I think you forfeit any points you earn if you, uh, die. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh, hey, wait up! Poor kid. We hardly knew him. There it is. That is certainly a big monster, all right. Are you positive about this, Mr. Claw? Like I have a choice. Get it now? That's a Mark 8 salamander. If we can manage to break the shackles on its legs, then the shield on its back will open up. Let's hurry up and break the other shackles! for this kind of situation. What's that? I'll tell you later. Watch this. What the? That's my monography shot. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Jump on the back of those monography platforms and you can get up on the back of the beast. Here you go, big man. Why don't you take this for now? When the platform disappears, just shoot up another one. But remember, you must equip the monography shot first before you can use it. Now's your chance! Go get him, Mr. Claw! Did that do it? Nope. I'm afraid not. But you're almost there. Is the battle recorder ready? That kind of beast will net you heaps of points. Make sure you get it all on tape. What? You mean this? Oh, now that is a well-used recorder. Use that to record your battle with the beast. And later on, you can turn it in for points. Now finish off the beast by yourself. After all, it's your prize. All right. And here goes. Its heart has stopped, but it's still being controlled by the power of the rune. Destroy the rune in its head. Oh, come on. Like a legendary hunter needs your help. Hmm. I get the feeling he sort of does. I wonder why. 
Is he really Desert Claw? I suppose looks can be deceiving. A real master doesn't need to show off. He may not look it, but he's got the goods. Just as I thought, his potential may be greater than my own. So listen, Mr. Claw, you got a real name or something, huh? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm Jaster, Jaster Rogue. Jaster, eh? Good. It's a bit weird to keep calling you Desert Claw. So from now on, if it's all right with you, I'm just gonna call you Jaster, okay? Now, let's get down to business. I'll be straight with you. Our boss says he wants to hire you. Would you come with us? Hire me? What? Why me? Good grief, isn't it obvious? You're Desert Claw, the legendary bounty hunter. And our boss, well, he wants to be a part of that. Let's just say he's scouting you for our team. These guys still think I'm someone named Desert Claw. That means he must be Desert Claw. I had no idea he was such a big deal. What is it, Jaster? Are you feeling all right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. So who is it that wants to hire me, exactly? Our boss, Captain Dorgan Goa. A pirate among pirates. What? Dorgan Goa? The space pirate Dorgan Goa? You mean, you guys do space travel? Of course. We're big-time pirates. We travel all over the galaxy. I mean, hunting has its moments, but tracking down immense treasure throughout the universe isn't half bad. Me... up in space? Yeah, I can see that. Not half bad at all. Our ship is hidden in the desert to the west of here. Why don't you meet up with us there? In the desert? Well, you know, we had a couple of minor issues and we couldn't actually dock at the spaceport. But look, we'll head back to the ship first. You come meet us there before tomorrow morning. All right? All right. Ta-da! Hey, wait a minute. I haven't decided yet. Oh, you'll be there, all right. I can see it in your eyes. You were made for the pirate life. To find our ship, you need to take the west gate and head straight over the desert. Please be sure to prepare for your journey before setting out. We'll be seeing you later. Ta-ta! Oh.